I'm Pro Fisherman Tom Reddington. Here are my 2014 Boy Scouts fishing machine. Absolutely top of the line boat, totally redesigned for 2014. It's the Ranger Z521C. Almost 22 feet long, I can store a ton of gear, I can ride huge waves, get home safely, stay dry, and guess what? A huge machine like this, I can still go 70 miles an hour plus with 250 horsepower behind me. It's a giant Mercury motor. It's a three liter that uh, cranks out a ton of horsepower, but also a three star energy rating. So it's very fuel efficient, very few emissions. The 2014 Boy Scouts machine, why don't you come on inside? I'll show you around the boat. Well, let's start with the front of the boat. I have an electric trolling motor. It's 36 volts, runs on three batteries. It'll last a whole day in the wind. Just drop it down with a foot pedal, I control it. I can fish all day. Don't have to worry about fighting the wind or anything. Plenty of power. I also have electronics up here. They have GPS built into them and also side imaging sonar so I can see what's off to the side of me. I can see what's in front of me with the new spotlight scan from Lowrance. And these touch screens are really easy to use. I can navigate in the GPS map, find exactly where the fish are, see what's below me in the front of the boat. Plus I have another unit that shows me what's in the back of the boat. And that really helps if I'm trying to stay on a certain contour or follow an old creek channel. I can see the front of the boat is in one depth, the back is in a different spot so I can really stay on that contour. But really at the helm here, everything you need to fish, catch fish, tons of room, keep all my rods here and have them out of the way. Now the nice thing about having a great big ranger like this is space. I can store stuff, I can keep stuff accessible when I need it. Rods, a typical tournament day, if I'm kind of struggling looking for the fish or in a practice day, I might have 14 rods out on the deck. But a lot of times you'll come on to something else, you want to try a different rod. So if I don't have one out, they have a humongous rod locker. Hold about 20 rods. They're all separated in here. I can quickly go in, up to eight and a half foot rods fit right in here. I can pull out one at a moment's notice. Of course, you have to have a ton of tackle as well. And when you're traveling around the country, you have to carry a ton. So there's enough space in here to carry anything you need. Or if you want to stay really organized, you don't have to cram everything in like a small tackle box. I can have separate boxes. And that's what I do with this bulk storage here. I have replacement hooks, I have sinkers, buzz baits, everything you name it. And then a great big one here, I can put life jackets in bulkier type items, my lights, these tackle boxes, these are weightless worms. So anything I need, I can store here a ton of it. Now my absolute favorite thing about the Ranger boats is this center rod box. You can actually use it as a rod locker, put eight foot rods, but I use it to keep very organized. I have about 28 uh, boxes, plenty of boxes in here right now. You can fit about 35 to 40 of them, believe it or not, plus bulk items. But I have jigs, especially jigs. So these are flipping jigs I, I can grab out. Uh, my trailers quickly for them. I have lipless crankbaits, everything just sorted very neatly. So this is the console here. The front of the boat, that's where you catch your fish, but where I find them, how I get to the fish, the most important spots right here. Really the key to finding them is this 12 inch graph. Lowrance makes a 12 inch touch screen, fits right into the dash. When I'm going down the lake, I can, with, just by touching it with that touch screen, I can quickly zoom into where I need to go. And then these, uh, the sonar that they have with the structure scan, down scan, I can look to the side of the boat to 300 feet on both sides, see the fish out there. Driving the boat, Rangers made it so much more comfortable now. You actually have seats that are adjustable. I can slide this back and forth. You can keep two hands on the wheel at all times. It has a hot foot, foot throttle, allows you to hang on. You can trim and, and run your jack plate from here. I only have to shift with the, the lever, but basically I have two hands on the wheel at all times. Okay, now the neatest innovation Ranger did this year is an external drain plug. That doesn't sound like a whole lot, but if you're like me or most other boat, boaters, you've probably forgotten to put in the drain plug maybe three, four hundred different times. So uh, it really comes in handy. This drain plug, it's simply the drain plug's out and now the drain plug's back in. All right, last thing you can't forget on a boat is the power poles. That's what keeps you in place. It's an electronic anchor, battery powered. They're hydraulic. I've been sitting here the whole time under battery power holds in place up to eight feet down. So the power pole is a must have for any fisherman. Tell you what, awesome ride. I like it so much. I can't sit here anymore. I gotta go fishing. See you guys on the water. I'm gonna go catch some bass. Hey, for more tips on how to catch fish, go right here. I'll see you on the water.